It's going to show you, you're going to be using an out-of-the-box application to record the location of various assets in your condition. So as they collect data, they're going to be pushing it back through their cellular network into our geo database so we can access right here in our office. The application they're using has to be configured and deployed without any custom development. So we can use that data as they're creating it to kind of track the status to see where they're creating the information. This is a lot different from field workflows in the past. Before, information was collected in the field and then had to be re-entered back into our office systems, resulting in costly time delays, as well as data re-entry issues. But now, like we saw in the video, data can be collected once at the source and seamlessly synchronized or pushed back into our enterprise systems. So while they'll continue to collect data, I'd like to show you the application they're using. If we look at my Windows mobile phone, we can see the out-of-box RGS mobile client that they're using. RGS Mobile uses local data, or local representations of our geo database that are stored on our device so we can operate completely disconnected from the network. We, the data on this device is defined or initially created from an RGS server service. This allows us very easily to create a map and publish it to RGS server for mobile use. Since they have the convention center covered, let's go ahead and create some data around the pool of the Marriott. To collect information, I can easily select the type of information to record, and then pick its location on the map. If I was outside, I'd be using my GPS to drive this location. But since we're, since we're indoors, we can manually pick that location on our screen using our reference data. We then need to fill the information that's tied to our asset. And just like dealing with our geo database in the office, our advanced functions are also carried out in the field. So like our drop-in or subtypes of domains are available for our field use. Now I've created this asset on my device, but you won't notice it back on our web browser yet. This information is stored in my device before operating disconnected. But at any time, I can synchronize or post my changes through our network. And as I do this, let's watch our web map. We'll see this data quickly show up at. So on that refresh, we've now seen this asset that recorded on my device is now visible and available for anyone in our enterprise to use. 